And it's not just Belgium's hospitals which are feeling the pressure. Healthcare systems across Europe are also facing mounting additional issues with the rising numbers of COVID-19 patients. Healthcare workers are now warning that resources are already severely limited, as Shay Lawrence reports. Calm and apparently in control, but staff at this hospital in Belgium, like many across Europe, say they're struggling to cope. The country's intensive care units are filling up fast amid a surging second wave of COVID-19. Resources are being stretched to the limit, and some doctors say they're already having to make difficult decisions. We have to sort patients. That's to say, select patients who have to wait several hours, sometimes several days for care. We have to adapt to a glaring lack of resources of nurses, for example, in relation to an excessive workload, as in all types of disaster medicine, which we know internationally. The mounting pressure on health workers has driven some onto the streets in Belgium and elsewhere. Nurses in Switzerland say that as well as being overworked, they're now facing a pay cut. We're here because we cannot take it anymore. We are totally exhausted. We are missing staff at work. I work in the paediatric ICU and we have to give up some of our days off too. And now we've learned that we may lose a percentage of our salary. This is just impossible for us. Italy was the first European country to experience a full-blown COVID-19 crisis, and it's now facing a second wave. This time, they're prepared for what may come. A number of hospitals have quickly set up additional intensive care wards and boosted essential supplies. Other nations are also trying to keep ahead of the pandemic. This arena in Croatia has been converted to an emergency hospital amid soaring cases. Around Europe, governments are reinforcing medical facilities and imposing new restrictions. How effective these will be will only be known in the coming weeks. Shay Lawrence, Euronews.